The first time I looked into your eyes, I knew I loved you. Every time I see you smile, it reminds me of our first encounter. I remember going home the first night we met and getting no sleep. I stayed up all night thinking of a way to see you again. You've helped me gain and learn so much since that December night, and you've had, a such, you've had such a profound impact on my future. I became focused and determined to become the man I always knew I could be, but just wasn't yet. You've added levels of happiness to my life that I didn't even know were imaginable. You simply made me feel so loved. This is exactly what caught my attention the first time we spoke. You have this natural energy, this glow, which just lights up a room. You find your way into somebody's life and help them grow into something better. You connect with everybody around you and instantly make them feel like they have purpose. You're so soft and intelligent, but tenacious and resilient. You fight for what you believe in and will always do what's right, which makes you an excellent role model to the people around you. You're an amazing woman, you're an amazing partner, and one day you will be an amazing mother. We've had so many incredible experiences and I'm so excited for our future together. Thank you for committing to me and thank you for giving me the most amazing life. I have never loved anything like I love you. And I promise that I will always put you first and make you feel more loved and appreciated every day. The moon and back, my beautiful love. So I was doing some thinking last week while writing this, and it occurred to me that Steve never actually asked us whether we approve of Apple. You know how usually when someone is serious about someone else, they'll ask the closest people to them, you know, what do you think of her, like for real, be honest with me, and usually agree to. That conversation never happened, Steve had absolutely zero debts about her from the beginning. If anything, he actually asked us not to mess it up for him, and we couldn't be happy, happier for you to officially be a part of our family. And Steve, we all couldn't be happier to see you found someone like Apple to share your life. Thank you for choosing me eight years ago, and thank you for choosing me every single day since then. You make all my dreams come true, and I, all, and I owe all my happiness to you and who you are. I can't wait for the adventures that I know are to come along. and selfless person that I know. She gives all that she has to everyone in her life and she does everything in her power to pro provide ease and comfort to those around her. She is passionate and kind and thoughtful and has the most positive energy that lights up every room that she walks into. She really is the type of person that everyone just wants to be around. She's understanding and she finds the bright side in all of the dark times. She is strong and intelligent and witty and extremely talented, and as we know, she is extremely beautiful. obvious to so many of us from the beginning that these two were meant to be together and it was always just a matter of time that I know both the bride and groom um, and I know both the bride and groom well enough to confidently say 
that there is nobody in the world more deserving than Stephen to have Apollonia's love, and no one more deserving than Apollonia to have Stephen. gem. Not only are you beautiful on the outside, but your heart and never-ending youthful spirit is just as beautiful. From the first time I met you, I knew you were the one and that you had captured Stephen's heart. You are sweet, genuine, and one of the many things I love and admire about you is that you know what you want. You may be tiny, but you are mighty. And I can't tell you how much we love you as our own. You have embraced our traditions, our love of food and wine, and our entire family unconditionally. And most importantly, you love our son. Steve, I love being your dad. I always have and I always will. You respect and love your mother and sister, and that's the most important thing to me. And I think you're going to be a great dad someday. I hope the two of you continue to love each other the way you do today, be proud of your past, get excited about your future, and start making all your dreams come true. Long-lasting love is a delicate balance between the head and the heart. Help each other to follow a path that will make you happy as individuals. If you can do that, you have created a place in which you can grow together, two people who can choose over and over again together to be in love. Both it is worth bearing in mind, neither of you will ever be perfect. But you can be a perfect match for each other. A successful marriage is not about finding a person you can live with, but finding a person that you can't live without. And I know that you have found that with each other. Right from the start of their relationship, it has been like none other that I have seen for anyone their age. They are mature beyond measure, support each other endlessly, and constantly make each other laugh. Stephen, I watch the way you treat Apollonia with such care and admiration. I see the way you look at her, and I know exactly where I have seen that look before. It's the way that dad looks at mom. It's the look of true love the way someone looks at someone when they're looking at their whole world and they know deep down in their heart they have finally, finally found their soulmate. It has been such a pleasure sharing the past 28 years with you. You are my best friend and I am so honored that I could stand up with you tonight. You too now become yet another example of true love in our growing family. Something that all of us cousins can agree upon that has been something very rare and special to be brought up in. I am so, so proud to be your big sister. I love you so much.